Your guys are like, I was telling your guys, they're like a football team, man. They're all just hyping each other up, like doing all this cool stuff. Um, and I, coming from a baseball background, think the same. And so I tell our guys this all the time. It's like, look, at the end of the day, the best player is going to play. I don't care if you're a vet, if you're a rookie. If a rookie comes in and they're crushing your numbers, who do you think is going to get the leads? Yep, they're up to bat next. But my question is, you know, you and I both run our companies very much like a sports team, right? Like your, your guys are like, I was telling your guys, they're like a football team, man. They're all just hyping each other up, like doing all this cool stuff. Um, and I, coming from a baseball background, think the same. And so I tell our guys this all the time. It's like, look, at the end of the day, the best player is going to play. I don't care if you're a vet, if you're a rookie. If a rookie comes in and they're crushing your numbers, who do you think is going to get the leads? Yeah, they're up to bat next. Yeah. Yeah, and I like that. And by the way, that's a good, positive, uplifting thing to know. That number one, if you are number one in your company, guess what? Keep the edge. Yep. Keep training, keep studying, keep the passion up, right? Don't get comfortable, right? Because that'll be your Achilles heel. That'll be how they roll in the tro Trojan horse and take you out, okay? You gotta crack in your castle, figure out how to kick your own ass so no one else comes in and kicks it. Mm -hmm. Okay, like know your business better than anybody else if you are a veteran. Number two, let's go to the flip side. A guy who's a, who, or a woman who's like, hey, I wanna come up in my company, right? Well, guess what? You have everything you need. I mean, even just this podcast alone, you could sit down and you could study it and you could say, all right, so I need to learn to speak better, okay? Because people want to be around people that actually speak great. And by the way, everybody in every company that speaks good usually has a really good position, but everybody's not naturally born a great speaker. They learn that, your tonality, your drive. Can you clearly see the passion that we have behind the words that we're using while we're talking? Right. How about that? That's called caring. I mean, that doesn't cost you anything. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. I just released my social media total domination playbook. Now I wanna ask you a question, right? Does everybody know who you are, what you do, how great you are, what you do, and where you're at? If not, I'm gonna show you how to make that happen. This is world domination. I'm gonna show you how to destroy it. If you're a sales pro and you're in the automotive space, this book right here is gonna show you how to destroy your competition. I'm gonna give this to you for free. I currently train over 300,000 salespeople and I have over 4,000 dealers on my training platform. There's another level. I'm gonna take you there. Guys, click the link below. I'm gonna give you this for free. Let's kick ass. Let's destroy your competition. You can out care everybody else in your company. Right. right. Right? I mean, how cool would that be to walk out here and see someone really like consciously caring more than everybody else? Right. And do it over and over again. That's one of the biggest things. Look, I always say preparation. Like getting prepared for what's next. Dabo Sweeney, when he got, um, what, what team does he play for? The, uh, with the Tiger Walk. The, yeah, with the Tiger Walk. When he made the Tiger Walk. And I'm not a big sports guy, okay? Which is, and I'm not a militant guy, but we run like a sports team and we act like we're military. But I've watched these these people and I study podcasts and stuff and, and I study everything. I mean, anybody and everything that somebody does, I always study it. Mm -hmm. He went in and literally, he was preparing way in advance for being a head football coach. Mm. And he said, look, always be ready because somebody's watching. Right. Somebody's always watching. So my biggest goal is that right now, somebody's watching you and guess what? If they're not watching you, put on a show worth paying for it. Mm. Okay? Right. They will watch. You'll demand their attention. They'll come around and before too long, guess what? Just like you look up, time's flowing. You're like, oh my God where we really just maxed out our credit cards the other day trying to buy our first flip yeah, and we we're yeah. working this out and now we're here and we've got all these companies and verticals and we're going crazy and you know it's like how did that happen you know how it happened you stayed relentless mm -hmm. you, st you had a delusional belief which means no one else could convince yeah. you otherwise a de delusional belief that you were going to make this happen mm -hmm. and that was it and, that, and by the way that's that can the self-love that belief and that deal that you have to carry that all successful people have because people are going to try to talk you out of your dreams every single day. Yeah, you honestly need to have, it's like this weird blend of confidence, arrogance, delusion, you know, faith. You've got to believe that, you know, you're going to do something that you have not done. Yeah. And that takes, you know, all of those elements to do. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, and I'll say something. This is cool. So uh, we have two terms in our, in our company we always talk about. Number one, we always say don't be scared, right? Like, don't be afraid, okay? Like the one thing that scares you the most is the one thing you need to do the most. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sometimes you're like, dude, I'm, I'm scared. Good, do it. <laughs> do it. You need to do it. You need to do it so you can get that out of the way 
okay? So now you have courage because in order for you to get where you wanna go, you're gonna need so much freaking courage. I can't even tell you how much you're gonna need. So anytime you get an opportunity to gain an extra brownie point with courage, you know, do it. Mm -hmm. But I was gonna say, being scared, let's talk about something else. I am scared. You know what I'm afraid of? I'm afraid of going backwards. So I work scared every single day, and that's why I work so freaking hard, and that's why I give so much energy and passion, so much love to the people that we train, the people that we do business with and our clients that other companies don't get, because I am scared. Right. And I'm afraid that for some reason, if I don't give it all I got and I don't stay sharp and I don't keep learning and I don't keep recreating and reinventing myself, guess what? Well, I will go backwards. Mm. So I say, don't be scared, right? One thing that scares you the most, do it. Number two, live scared. Yeah. Okay? Don't uh, go backwards. I'll tell you, I'm, yeah. My number one, people ask me like, what's your top fear? And I'm like, ah, I mean, I'm not like super scared of losing money. Like it, I know I'll make it back. Like I'm not worried about that. I'd be scared of the market? And I'm like, no, I can't control the market. And I'm like, what, what am I gonna be scared about? Like, I just have to just do whatever is the best move as the market plays out. I, can't, I can only control what I can control. But um, you mentioned backwards, and that is what I'm most scared of. That pisses you off. Yeah, dude, I'm trying to always just progress forward in all aspects. Dude, I'm gonna tell you something right now. So I don't know how you push your buttons, because I have buttons, right? And I'm really calm, you can't trigger me. Like, I don't care what you say to me. Guys, like, I hate that guy. He's a fraud, he's a loser, he did this, he did that. I'm like, dude, I just laugh. Yeah. I'm like, we love you, man. We love you. <laughs> you know, we don't stop it and throw rocks at every dog that's gonna bark, okay? Right. But my wife, she knows, she knows how to push me, okay? I was having this seminar one time, we had about a thousand people there in the room, and I was coming out hard, I was coming out good, we were coming out strong, everybody was lit up, and, you know, I don't know if she was messing with me, I still never asked her, right, because we didn't have a conversation after this, but I brought the heat. There was a new Andy 3.0 that came out, just literally like a guy I've never met. And sometimes your back has to be against the wall or something has to happen for that to happen. Mm -hmm. And she came out and it was like right after a lunch break, or it was right before the lunch break, okay? She goes, hey, I'm gonna tell you, everybody doesn't seem very engaged today. Mm. I go, what? <laughs> and she's like, I'm just being honest with you. And oh, I was man. like, you know what happened? what happened? It was on. I went out there and when I was done, everybody's like, oh my God, oh my God. Everybody's like, that's the most amazing thing in the world. Still to the, that day, that training was my best training I ever had. And she had to say something to piss me off to get that out of me. Yeah. You know, I tell people all the time, and by the way, like I'll just, I'll talk about automotive training for just a second. A sales guy selling 10 cars a month. Okay, and by the way, I always use extreme parallel so people buy big, oh, I don't like that, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm trying to get you to understand what I'm saying. Then I'll say, guy selling 10 cars a month, okay, we're just gonna use this and it could be for any industry. Right. Salesman selling 10 cars a month, he's, he's there training with me, he wants to sell 30. He goes to the training, goes back home, he's still selling 10 cars, he can't figure it out. And you know what, the guy does, the guy needs to get pressed on. Right. The guy needs something to happen so he can come out of his shell and actually go to the next level, wake up. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? I'll say, hey, you got kids? Yeah? Okay. Let me ask you a question. Real question. If I was to kidnap your kids, put a gun to their head, and I was going to kill them, if you didn't sell 30 cars, would you sell 30? He said, well, if you had my kids, I would sell 30. Well, then why the hell can't you sell 30 now? Why do we have to even talk like that? Mm. That's your problem. Okay? Right. And I, and I, that, that little, uh, you know, that parallel, Yeah. like, look, sometimes we got to get extreme to make people understand that, look, stop acting like you're going to live twice. Right. You only get one freaking life. Yeah. You so, know, you're capable of it. What, yeah. Like, Don't why freaking not? do it, dude. Do you follow Brad Lee? Guys, it's Andy Elliott right here at my conference room in Scottsdale, Arizona. We are putting on the event of the year, June 4th. Entrepreneurs, salespeople, closers, business owners. You want to build a sales team and learn how to close anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere. This is going to be the event. And by the way, Brad Lee isn't going to be here like a speaker at most speaking events. He's personally going to be training from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Everything you need to know to 
triple your income this year. And by the way, this is an event that ain't gonna happen again. If you wanna be the best, if you wanna be so great at what you do, you make your competition look like freaking amateurs, this is the place you wanna be. We only got 350 seats, so the spots are gonna go out fast. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. You don't want to miss this event, shoot a text message right now to 918-210-0254. Let's kill it, baby. Let's go.